Okay, welcome back to TKTube.com. As you can see, this is an Nikon uh, D5200 a video recording at 1080p, uh, 24 frames per second. So I adjust the um, the focus to manual focus. The reason is for some reason the autofocus um, doesn't really work well. It's maybe it's because of the background uh, light. It's not very good. So I have I'm near the window, very bright at the back, and so the camera can't really adjust you know, where to focus. So I end up using a manual focus, as you can see here. Now we're testing the um, um, with ex internal mic. It's a stereo mic, so you can hear my voice. The difference. Now the thing about it, this the stereo internal mic is quite good. The only problem is that um, let's say if you want to do an uh, interview and there's a background noise, right? Then um, the internal mic may not be the best way to record, uh, you know, during your video recording. So the camera, or the video camera anyway, it has the ability to hook up an external mic so you can actually move that mic around, you know, pass it around or fixate it. It's the person you're interview, an interviewee, right? So that you can um, re record their voice. So I'm going to show you right now. I have this um, mic, very old mic, 10 years old. doesn't work really well, but it's just a demonstration that um, it actually works. So it uses the normal um, plug, you know, the audio plug. You plug it into the Nikon D5200, the uh, external mic, and it will work, right? So this uh, adapter, for example, hook up to this stereo mic I bought, like I said, 10 years ago, um, you know, uh, probably cost me only 20, 30 bucks. Nowadays, you know, these type of mic cost over 100 bucks. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to hook it up, and I'll show you the difference in the quality. Now, I need to keep this fixated, otherwise there's a, some, you might hear some staticky noise, uh, maybe because of this mic is getting old, but anyway, what the, wherever the reason is, it does work, and I'll show you if I plug it in to the Nikon D5200, and I think 3200 also works as well, hook it, uh, hook it up to its uh, plug, um, there's a, actually a plug in the Nikon, and it will work, okay, I'll show you right now. Okay, so now I'm recording the my voice using this mic, now hopefully I... Uh, um, you know, there's no some static on this mic, but you can see if I if I move back all the way back, you can hear my voice the same level as if I am standing close to the camera itself, and that's the the key to recording audio. You know, having external mic, um, being able to hook that up to your uh, your video camera. Like I said, Nikon, the one I bought, the 5200, has the ability to take excellent pictures, and as well is an excellent uh, uh, video camera because it has this mic here. Okay, that's the only thing about, you know, using your um, uh, video, uh, sorry, your camera, the DSLR camera as a video recording is that the mic, the audio is not that great. But if it has ability to hook up external mic, then uh, maybe that changes the whole dynamic or concept of using your um, camera, digital camera, the DSLR camera as a video recorder. Now, in fact, it is a good option, actually. All right, so from time to time, you'll see me using Nikon D5200 to record some of my YouTube videos, especially a uh, very, uh, you know, high-quality video anyway, okay? Because, again, uh, Nikon D5200 has a very good lens, like any uh, DSLR camera, compared to my Canon uh, video camera I bought a few years ago. It's great for most of the work that I do on YouTube, but for a really indie type of film effect, I would probably go with the Nikon 5200, D5200. All right, so I'll post uh, more video on Nikon D5200 on different type of, you know, film effect, and maybe I'll do a little bit of skit and all that on this uh, camera, and I'll show you the difference in the future. All right, thanks for watching, educatetube.com.